Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kelly. And for today's video, we are going to be doing our August TBR. So it took me actually a while to figure out how I wanted to pick out my TBR for the month of August. As you guys know, I've done some different TBR videos. So we had like my TBR prompts, picks my reads. I did that for a while and then I kind of got tired of that. So last month we did where I let my Instagram followers blindly pick my reads and that was really fun as well. And I also sometimes would pick my own TBR. I'd pick just like six books that I really wanted to read that month and I made that a TBR. So I was kind of struggling figuring out how I wanted to form my August TBR and I said to myself, you know what? I was going through like different, I just searched up like August TBR on YouTube and like scrolled through to get like different ideas and a lot of people have just been doing the TBR prompts video so that didn't really help a little bit and then people did like board games which I'm lazy, I do not feel like making a big board game so maybe we'll do that another time. But then I also went through some of my old videos and I came across when I let the spin wheel decide how long I read for a day or a week I think it was. Yeah, I think it was a week. I let the spin wheel decide how long I was reading for that day. And I said, well, why don't I just put down every single book that is on my physical TBR on the spin wheel and then we spin that six times and then those will be our TBR for the month of August. And then I said to myself, well, I only read three books off of my TBR from July because July has just been like a really hectic month and I've just had a lot of things going on. I actually made a separate wheel where I have all of those books that I didn't read off of last month's TBR and we will spin that wheel one time and then I will add that book onto my TBR as well. Most of the time though when I don't finish books on a set TBR I will add those in to next month and try and get to them. Sometimes I do. Actually most of the time I do. I've realized like I'll read that book if I have like one extra but we actually have I think four I think we had four books that I didn't read let me see I'm trying to go into my notes and find out where my July TBR is one two three four five okay we had five but I'm actually reading one of them right now on audiobook but I don't think I'm gonna finish it because today is the last day of the month but I'm not gonna add that one because I'm currently reading it but yeah, four other books that I added onto another spin wheel and we'll spin that one one time and then that one will be re-added onto my August TBR if that makes sense. So we're going to do the physical TBR one first. We're going to spin this six times and then we'll do the other one one time. And then at the end of the video, I'll grab, I'm going to write them all to my notes. And then once I'm finished with spinning the wheel, I'm going to grab the books and we'll do like a final wrap up of my August TBR. So that is how we're picking out this month's TBR. And how many times am I going to say TBR in this video? Probably a lot. Let's get into it and let's see what books we're going to be reading in the month of August. Alright you guys, so I think I'm going to screen record rather than like just hold it up like this because I feel like it'll be a little bit easier. And I don't know, I feel like it won't focus if I just keep it like this. So screen recording it is. We're going to start it up here and we're going to just get right into it. No need to procrastinate any further. The Pucking Wrong Number. So this is a dark hockey romance, I believe. I believe. I got this book for Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to hide the slices so when we spin it we don't get that same book again. This is fun. Also, this is kind of nerve-wracking. Ooh, Consider Me by Becca Mack. This is a sports romance, I think. It might actually be hockey. Don't quote me on that, but I feel like it is. Like, I'm pretty positive it's a hockey romance. That's funny. Two hockey romances in a row. Well, one's a dark romance. The Ritual. I'm really scared for this book, you guys. I've heard some people say that it's, like, really, really dark. 
and I know Larry Rees read this book and she didn't really like it, so I'm kind of scared. But I've also had that book on my TBR since last year, so. And it's also really long. Like, that's a thick book. Yes, Out on a Limb. Guys, I've been dying to read this book. Like, on Bookstagram, some people say, like, this is one of their favorite books ever. I'm really excited that we got that one. All right, we've got some mixes in here. We've got some dark romance, some regular romance. Kingdom of the Cursed. I read the first book in this trilogy a while ago, and I'm going to be honest, I do not remember anything that happened in that first book, so I'm going to have to, like, look up somewhere what happened in the first one, because I don't remember. I don't really think I loved that book. Yeah, I don't think I was a fan of that one. Maybe this, hopefully, the second one will be better. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Scarred by Emily McIntyre? McIntyre? I forget how to say her last name if I'm being real with you. Okay, how many books do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there are six. So now we are going to go into our... Oh my god, now I gotta ref re go out of here. So now we're going to spin the wheel of the books that I had on my TBR in July that I didn't read yet. And we're only gonna spin this once. Let's see which book will have a second chance of me hopefully reading it in August. This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. I'm actually really excited for that one. I was rooting for that one to get picked or The Paradise Problem. So I'm not mad at that. Okay, so I wrote down all of the books. I'm going to grab them all and then we will do a little wrap up before we end off this video. Also, sorry if this TPR video is kind of short. I just sped through all of that because why drag it out, you know? All right, guys, let's do a quick wrap up of the books we are adding to our August TBR. So the book that is getting re-added onto our August TBR from last month is This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. I loved the first book, so I'm really excited to read this. And Emily Henry has a little blurb up here. It says, heart searing, sensual, and life affirming. You guys know I love Emily Henry, so I'm really excited to read this book. Then we have Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. I have yet to see a bad review on this book, so it makes me 10 times more excited to read this. It's also an accidental pregnancy, which if you would have told me that like a couple months ago, even like a year ago, I probably wouldn't have read this book, but I actually really love that trope, so I'm really excited to read this, and the cover is just absolutely adorable. Then we have The Pucking Wrong Number by C.R. Jane. This is a dark hockey romance. And I'm excited to continue my dark romance era because I'm loving it. And I'm just loving dark romances at the moment. They're just so fun. Then we have Consider Me by Becca Mack. This is a hockey romance. It says Carter Beckett is the NHL's resident bad boy. And some reason, this cover is just screaming winter to me. Like, this looks like a book I would want to read in the wintertime. I just wanted to say that because I don't know why. It's just giving winter. Is it not? Let, let me know in the comments if this book is winter to you guys. Then we have Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. As I said before, I do not remember anything that happened in the first book. So I'm going to have to look up somehow like spoilers for the first one so I can read this because I feel like if I just go into this, I'm going to be so confused. So we got one fantasy book on this TBR. And then we have Scarred by Emily McIntyre. This is the second book in the Never After series. I think this is a Lion King retelling, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I've heard this is people's favorite in this series. So I'm really excited. And then the book I'm the most scared to read is The Ritual by Chantel Tessier. You guys, this book is so long. Let's see how long it is. 
it's like almost 500 pages and the writing let me show you the writing is so tiny so i might have to try and get this on kindle if i can but i'm really nervous i've heard some crazy things about this book and the front says she is to serve and obey him he will protect and own her and it's a dark college romance so i'm kind of scared also i'm intrigued but yeah those are all of the books that i'm adding to my august tbr i think i am going to add a couple of my own picks for my august tbr but these are the ones we chose in this video now my hand hurts being like that but these are all our picks i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did if you give it a huge thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know what books you guys are adding to your tbrs and yeah that is it. I love you all. I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye, guys.